Hi all, Karen Dahl here again. <laughs> Sorry, I almost forgot my name. <laughs> Anyways, we're back. Um, Ever After High, Epic Winner. This is a dual set. So this we have um, Daring Charming and Rosabella Beauty. Uh, Daring Charming is the son of King Charming. And then Rosabella is the daughter of Beauty and the Beast. Um, I actually have another Rosabella I think I reviewed previously. So check out that video. I just, I think she's my favorite character, but I absolutely love Beauty and the Beast, so that could be why. Um, I got this set on Amazon for an amazing deal. I think I only paid like $13 or $14, so it was quite exciting. It might have been less than that. So just to give you an idea where I find my items, I look everywhere. So we'll come on to the back and Ever After High, where princesses are powerful. And this talks about, you know, the curse with the epic winner I've read over in my other epic winner review. So if you want to check that out, watch those videos so we got daring charming over here and it says oh my grim ever after high is buried under a mountain of snow this is a time for courage this is a time for justice that's right time for me to go inside until the sun comes back out do you know what cold weather does to my skin it chaps it blisters it dries don't even get me started on what it does to my hair. For the sake of the future of all fairy tales, I'm going to make sure that I, the future King Charming, stay handsome forever after. He sounds a little conceited, doesn't he? Rosabella. Sorry, you'll have to excuse Daring. I know he comes across as being a bit full of himself. You think? But trust me, deep down, he's a really good guy. He just doesn't really realize that he look that his looks aren't the most important thing. But since my princess power allows me to see the good within people, I can help rescue Daring from himself. He can finally become the hero he wants to be, and I think he's going to surprise everyone, especially himself. And it says about Unfreeze Ever After High at everafterhigh.com. And I'm trying to... Okay, I have... Madeline Hatter I've done a review on. I just did a review on Crystal Winter and Apple White. So I do have those. So check out those reviews as well. Um, as I said, show on Netflix, follow on Facebook, Instagram, and the app. So let's get these guys out of the box. And I'm kind of excited because this is going to be my third boy doll I have now because I have Alistair. And then I have, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember. It's one of the... My Little Pony Equestria ones, Flash, Flash, that's who I have. So I'm actually kind of excited that I'm getting a few more of the guy dolls. Okay, and I think I always tell you guys, be very careful when you're cutting stuff out of the box. Because if you've watched my Curtly Jester video, I almost cut off fingers, I've hurt myself getting another one out of the box so always be very very careful especially if you're using a little pocket knife like I usually use or scissors that you don't hurt yourself so yeah this doesn't want to cooperate with me today there we go these things are just kind of pulling away. If I can just get this cut enough. Oh, I'm looking. Daring has his own little mirror. How funny is that? Okay, so then we got Rosabella stuff. Oh, I guess she doesn't come with a ring like the other epic ones have. So I'm going to get her glasses out next. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. There's her glasses. I'm trying to get all the little stuff out so I don't lose any of that stuff. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get these guys cut out. Okay, there's... Oh, I thought it had his picture on it. <laughs> trying to see where all the wonderful gummies are. Okay, and then his hand is kind of attached there. Okay. Okay, we're slowly getting there, guys. Yep. Yep, he has one more gummy around his elbow. And then, I guess I, I think I kind of cut the gum 
gummy one that was holding his crown, but hopefully it'll just stay on him. Wow, they really don't want you to get this stuff out of here. Okay. So I got, whoops. Okay, I think I got that all off of him. So, I'll sit him to the side. If you want to check him out while I get Rosabella out of the rest of the way. I think I said about Rosa. I think Rosabella is my favorite because of Beauty and the Beast. I think I actually like um, Raven Queen a lot too. I do actually like her on the show. Like I said, even though I said I'm not overly crazy about the cartoon, but I will keep watching just to see, you know, what happens. My curiosity just gets the better of me, and um, I could hate something, but I'll still watch it just to see, you know, what happens. It's like I, I'm not complete if I don't know what happens. Oh, I hate these things. Um, let's see. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. There we go. All right, let me move that out of the way. Set this stuff to the side, and we will visit our doll friends here. So, I have Rosabella Beauty, oops, who still has a gummy on her wrist. <laughs> And like I said, I, I, I think she is so pretty. She has um, like a brown brown hair with a little bit of a pink highlight in it. And then I have left, um, this is attached with her crown. I'm probably going to leave that on or her crown, her headband. But it looks like she has hair that should come out of here and be free. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. But her the headband she has on, it seems like it has like some crystal with roses in it. And then coming down into her face, she has real pretty brown eyes. Um, browned eyeshadow, uh, rosy pink lips. I'm not seeing any of a thing of a blush on her. And then coming down into her outfit, she kind of has a similar outfit to the other girls where it's kind of like a winter theme. So hers is uh, fur trimmed up here at the shoulders and around the bottom. Then she has this um, tool around her neck. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then it comes down and it's like yellow and white. And then she has pink snowflakes. This is all cloth here. Then she has this belt around her waist that kind of has some crystallization that looks in it. Like there's crystals. It looks like there's some roses maybe. And then she has these two armbands up here that will come off. They are slitted. So they're pink and they kind of, they have roses on it. So it's kind of like her little belt here. And her elbows are all funky. Okay, there we go. And then coming down, she has um, the molded pink tights with the design, kind of like the other girls have that I've reviewed. And then her boots, she it looks like it's, uh, fur, it's supposed to be like a fur trim. And then hers has roses on it with the heel in the back. It's slitted as with the other one, so you could take it off. So you could see like the design on her leg kind of goes the whole way down. And then here's the back of her hair. It's kind of flat from being in the box. So let me pull it up and so here would be the velcro if you would want to take the dress off like i said she's very pretty very very pretty and then we got mr daring here so um his hair is molded kind of no alistair's was real here alistair was rooted hair so um his is molded it's got some detail in it so it's pretty cool and then he has this little crown that does actually fit oh i might have had it on wrong because i just realized it's kind of like the front piece here so it does it's making a liar out of me. Oh, <laughs> leave it to me to make it make something so simple, extremely difficult. I'm just trying to get it to stay on his head. Okay, so we got it on. So um, he has uh, blue eyes, you know, nothing on the cheeks or lips. Um, then I guess this is kind of like his Letterman jacket has ever after high here on the side. Those are just stickers. It's not um, I'm set engraved, embroidered or anything. So he's got this fur around his collar. Kind of looks almost like a band. <laughs> I used to be in band. That's probably why it reminds me of that. But like I said, I think it's supposed to be his Letterman jacket. And then it gives an illusion of a shirt underneath. So there is actually, I'll lift it up here, no shirt underneath. This part hanging out here at the bottom just kind of gives the illusion that he has a shirt on underneath. And then his pants are molded. So I guess they're supposed to be kind of like jeans. And then he has like white tennis shoes on. And then, you know, coming to his back, 
it's um, velcroed here so if you would want to change them and like I said he does not have um, a shirt it just gives the illusion I'm just curious about something now because he uh, okay she's not like that okay so his articulation its head his shoulder his elbow his wrist if you can line his wrist looks like it will move but it's just it's rotating but it's not lining up for me to like bend it he has the articulation in his hip like in his waist here and then in his hip so where the girls don't have that's why i grabbed rosabella because i was curious if she maybe i missed the articulation in the waist but they don't have the articulation in the waist but he doesn't have it in his knee though either and then also that came with this are rosabella's glasses so let me try to put these on her and not have them go flying so there's her glasses because you know bell's a beauty bell or whatever's a bookworm and then I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, to tell you the truth. I don't know if it's like a necklace or what. I'm not real sure. I probably will look on the back of the box. I'm just going to stick it there for now. And then, as I said, uh, Daring comes with his own little mirror. So it would just go, oh, maybe it will go on his hand. Okay, so there it goes. Um, didn't talk about the fingers like his are spaced out but they're not as flimsy as they usually are on the girls like i said the girls fingers i would be very you know leery with and watching and then they have um her little card that came with it like in the other ones and then hers is the rose of spring so i don't know if maybe that's what this necklace thing's supposed to be so if anybody knows what this is let me know let me know in the comments and I'll check the back of the box that I threw to the side here. So anyway, shout out, shout out, shout out. And I'm probably going to screw this one up, but Lulu doll scum funk. I, I apologize. I, I'm, I love the name, but I'm probably royally screwing it up. She commented on a couple of my Monster High reviews. Um, she's also the one that recommended Holler to me. So I want to thank her for recommending that as well because I think now I have a new favorite website. Um, it's amazing. I, like I said, I love Holler. I will probably, I'm not getting paid to endorse this site just so you know. Um, it's just something I want to share if you're looking for some good deals. Um, the stock seems to change there a lot, so you got to kind of check back and check often. Anyways, shout out. Thank you, Lulu, for that. Thank you. Hope you come back for more. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you know when I post new content. Also, check out my video for my mini giveaway that I'm doing over Facebook and Twitter. You're going to have to follow me over there as well to, get the, um, to enter and get the winner's list. I can't think of anything else. Oh, 500. I'm still trying to shoot to that number to do the bigger giveaway. So help me out. Share my page. Leave a comment if you want a shout out. Leave a comment if there's something you would like me to review. Leave me a message over on Facebook, Twitter, wherever. Contact me. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I can't make them both wave by, so I'll grab Rosabelle and say bye.